Hey guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another cook with me. This is, I'm gonna make this primarily with items from my Hunger Root order. If you guys wanna sign up to Hunger Root, remember that code will be down below in the description box for 50 bucks off your first box, cancel anytime. And I'll link an original unboxing for one of my Hunger Root boxes to pop up in a corner during the video so you can learn more about it. I'm gonna be making lemon pepper chicken with smashed golden roasted potatoes and some zucchini. The, they were out of zucchini in Hungary, so I had to go get me some at the store. Okay, here we go. This chicken breasts are organic and free range. They're thin sliced. There's four slices of chicken breast in here. Perfect. And we've got this little potato company, Dynamic Duo Fresh Creamier Potatoes. And of course our lemon. And then my zucchini uh, over here. Let's get to cooking. The first thing I'm gonna start, this is a new recipe I'm trying with these smashed potatoes. I'm gonna boil them first. I already lost my scissors. These are already pre-washed because you could have steamed them right in the bag. Let's see. All right, so the recipe calls for like 12 red potatoes, which are bigger. I just wanna make sure there's three servings of potatoes here. I think that's good. I don't wanna save the other half for another meal. All right, cover these with water, salted water, and I'm gonna boil them for about 20 minutes. Next up, we're gonna prep up our zucchini. Just cut off the ends of it. And then I'm gonna cut them like this long ways. I'm gonna just saute up the zucchini with some olive oil and some salt and pepper and it's just delicious, you guys. Like this. Stella loves zucchini. It's like her, one of her favorite veggies. So she'll probably eat one whole one of these herself. This is Stella's favorite meal, actually, the, um, the chicken, lemon pepper chicken and zucchini. She hadn't had the smashed potatoes yet, but we'll see. None of us have, because like I said, it's a new recipe. I got it out of one of my recipe books that I got from a Taste of Home unboxing. And I'm super excited to try it. Okay. There's one. I'm gonna do the other off camera, BRB. Look how huge these lemons are from Hunger Root. I freaking love it. This is basically um, the squeeze line when it's plated. So I'm just gonna cut up half of it. I'll save the other half for another dish. That way, shh. Oh, this one's pooping seeds. Gotta get them. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's prep our chicken next. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. First thing, get your chicken out, pat it dry. This is a beautifully trimmed chicken breast. Okay, do see a little piece here I want to get off. Kind of a stickler about my chicken breasts. Let me get my scissors. I don't like any yuck pieces like that on my chicken breast. And it looks like it's got a little hard place right there. Usually they're beautifully trimmed. The others are, but this one needs a little help. Okay. <clears throat> As 
salt and pepper them. We'll salt them. Um, I'll pepper Sam. So Sam doesn't want lemon pepper. So his are just going to be salt and pepper. These two are the lemon pepper ones. Okay, we'll do both sides. Well, we'll make one plain. Okay. And lemon pepper this side. I am gonna flour these up too plain pepper this one. But next you're going to get your flour. I'm going to take Sam's first. And we're just going to lightly coat it. Just a light dusting like that. Just shake off the excess. I'm going to sear these up or cook these up over medium. Put a little butter, olive oil in the pan. Cook them. About three minutes a side, two to three minutes a side. They're pretty thin. Three minutes a side should be plenty. All right, I'm gonna start getting these pans ready. Turn to medium. This is zucchini over here. Chicken here. A little butter in here with uh, this too. Okay. Now these like about 10 minutes still. I'm probably going to wait to officially start until these come out and prep them because they've still got to roast for 20 minutes. So when these are done boiling, We'll prep them, I'll we'll get them in the oven. Then we'll start the rest of it. I'm also adding to Sam's little plain piece of chicken, some onion powder and garlic powder, just to give it some flavor. All right, I'm actually using my cookie sheet with no silicone pad. I want these nice and crispy. Now the directions say to um, put a layer of, put some oil down first and foremost. And I actually just roasted a pork loin for my mom that had a lot of fat on it. So I'm using the same pan with that pork fat that I just got through cooking. <laughs> yes, please and thank you. Here's our potatoes. Nice and steamed. Just gonna kinda spread them out a little bit. You can see they're getting coated with that pork fat. Yes, ma'am, this is a country kitchen. Now, I'm going to take my potato smasher, and I'm just going to be smashing these potatoes down like that, just smushing them flat. We'll smush them to about um, half an inch thick. In fact, I think it might work better if I use a glass, so I don't have Stuff coming up through the cracks. Yeah, just use your cup if you want to. I've always seen these cooked in videos and stuff, but I've never tried them. They're smushing up nicely. I hope they're good. I don't see how they could not be, can you? which we're fixing to find out. We'll do a taste test. All right, I got them all smashed. Hulk smash! Now, I'm gonna brush the tops with melted butter. And this is real butter, that's all I use, is real butter. Get them all buttery. 
These are going to be so good, y'all. My oven is up to 450. That's where we're cooking these at. So they should crisp up really nice. I got about a tablespoon of butter in that bowl, if you're wondering. Now, I'm just going to generously salt and pepper them. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna pop them in for 20 minutes and we'll start on the rest of our food. All right, I'm gonna start with my zucchini. It's a crap ton of zucchini. We're cooking over a medium with olive oil. Um, these will cook the whole 20 minutes probably. Just kinda get them softened and a little browned. My skillet could definitely have been warmer. If you didn't hear that, there was no sizzle. Oh, I got impatient. Anyway, that's a wrap. Salt and pepper them. I have the cord hooked up to my phone and I keep hitting it. I'm sorry. Sounds like this pan's getting pretty hot over here with my butter and oil. Yeah, so we'll start our chicken in. I'm gonna put Sam's in first because so I can kind of keep track of it. Put his there at the top. I don't want to overcrowd my pan, so uh, I'm just gonna cook two of these at once. That's that wasn't hot enough either. Oh lordy! Three minutes aside, guys. BRB. All right, let's put these little chickens over and see how they look. Oh, they look good. Okay. Three more minutes on the clock. All right, I forgot I had my heat up a little medium high to get it hotter, so I got a little too hot. I got my meat down, my tip down now. Okay, three more minutes on the clock. Okay, let's flip these and see how they look. Still a, little, still a little browner than I'd like. But alright. Three more minutes for these. My zucchini is softening up nicely, getting a little brown. We've still got seven minutes to go on our potatoes. Everything's looking good, y'all. All right, I'm pulling off the rest of my chicken now. Put this extra piece on the cutting board because uh, if you leave it in the pan, it's gonna keep cooking and be overcooked. And I still need to wait just about four minutes for um, our potatoes to be done. I'm gonna move this pan over here so I can get to it better. I turned up the heat to medium high so you get enough crust on the zucchini. And uh, I'll be back. There it is, guys. Looking tasty and delicious. Let's start off with some zucchini. Mm. Good. It's zucchini, right? A little salt on it. I'm gonna do the chicken next because my potatoes just came out. They're really hot. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon. Crunchy chicken. Pretty tender, you see it just pulled up there. Mmm. So good. So delicious. Now look at these potatoes. See that nice little crisp on it? I'm hoping these are good. Hot. I knew it would be really hot. 
So yummy though. Yum, yum, yum. This is a keeper. This meal is definitely a keeper. Stella wanted everything. Sam didn't want zucchini. He didn't really like it, but it was a hit with the kids overall. Two out of three ain't bad. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Hey, people. You want to say hello? <laughs> Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings and cook with me, guys. And I'll see y'all the next one.